A poem in which the Academy wishes to nominate me for best actor, but doesn't know which category to place my genderqueer body in. Though, of course, this isn't a predicament that I am unfamiliar with. It is important to note that in this film, I play a Jewish genderqueer butch femme with a lot of student loan debt, eight roommates, horrible cuticles, who still manage to look pretty fucking cute at least eh, three days out of the week. That's right, it's a biopic. I wrote it, directed it, star in it as myself, Zachary Drucker produces, a poem in which the Academy is forced to create new categories due to the ever-growing pool of queer talent who has always been here, who is tired of your binary. Consequently, the telecast has been extended to seven hours, and you will sit straight, people, and you will watch and you will like it, as every straight actor who has ever been nominated for playing a queer character is forced to present for categories such as Best Red Carpet Comeback when the reporter from the E! Entertainment Network misgenders you. Best, I swear to God, if you nominate another goddamn sexual predator for another goddamn Academy Award at Casey Affleck, not so sub subtweet. Best film in which the leading queer character miraculously does not die. A poem in which Every actor who has won an Academy Award for playing a queer character has been straight. A poem in which all but one of those queer characters does, in fact, die. And I get it. Our bodies are tragic, right? Our love is tragic. The struggle is your selling point, your box office bait, your elevator pitch, crossfade to Benedict Cumberbatch, crying a queer genius's dead tears. And I get it. I mean, I have had to play straight before, on stage, on film, at the dentist's office, at my grandfather's funeral. So forgive me, Hollywood, if when you say checked box, I hear unmarked grave. How brave of straight actors to bear the lesson of someone else's death. So glory to the queers who live to see the credits roll. Glory to the blockbusters that are not built upon a curb stop. A poem in which I am neither a monster nor a martyr. In which no one else is lauded for wearing my painted face. A poem in which I get to play something other than all of this queer loneliness. Wearing an ill-fitted dress. In which I get to star as myself and nothing bleeds but my lipstick. A poem in which we actually win. A poem in which I win for best gender queer actor in a film that features trans, femme, and non-binary and gender non-conforming characters whose narratives extend beyond merely their gender expressions and sexualities and has not put queer martyrdom on a pedestal. And as I accept my statue from Jared Leto, he remarks, that category is a bit of a mouthful, in it? And I say, Yes, and we are worthy of every hard-fought word. And now, y'all will be ready for my Tony. <laughs>